is so excited. I mean, I feel energetic and I forgot what it feels like to be nourished and that I can actually do things. And then we're gonna decorate my ivy pole today. Now we're looking for fabric because I wanted to make my own tubi pads. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around. getting caught up and it feels amazing and I feel energetic and I forgot what it feels like to be nourished and that I can actually do things like more than one thing in the day and that's crazy so I'm excited today we are well we're eating right now I have my beautiful beautiful coffee here and then I have some rice soup that I'm gonna heat up and make that his mom made for me it's so good and then we're gonna decorate my ivy pole today and then go to Walmart pick up prescriptions and get some groceries Laculose. he needs Laculose. he's doing a SIBO test too because he has his own GI issues <laughs> And then I have a drop to put on because I have a little bit of granulation tissue and they want to get ahead of it. So I'm going to go Yummy. get that. And then we have like one more. We might do something else. We might go to Disney Springs. We might play a Switch. I don't know. Let me show you something too. I got all of my formula delivered yesterday. And thank goodness my brand of formula has like an assistance program because I can't afford my formula because my insurance doesn't cover it. Like 0% does not cover formula. And well, I don't have a job and it would cost like... $1,200 a month, I think they said, for just the formula. Just the formula, so I can't afford that. But luckily, like I said, they have the assistance program. And look at how much they dropped off. This is all formula. Super thankful for that. And shout out to Nestle. Shout out to Nestle, that's right. And if you have a tip on how to organize all your feeding tube supplies, please let me know because mine's a hot mess. Yours is pretty organized. It's in a box. It could be more organized. Okay, well, we're gonna eat breakfast and then I'll catch up to you. Let's go to Joanne's. I can't wait to decorate. The music is really loud, so I have to do a voiceover, but basically we're looking for flowers to wrap around the ivy pole. This is the one we ended up going with. And then we found some cute little accent pieces, and then we switched them out and chose different ones, but these are just little things to add some color. That's what it's gonna look like, super cute. Now we're looking for fabric because I wanted to make my own tubi pads. There were so many options for fabrics. I was so excited. Like, look how cute, look at the potential. And basically, we just loaded up our cart. We might have went a little crazy, but there was a sale and it was literally $2.99 a yard and I didn't even need a yard because tubi pads are small. But I got a ton and this is me in the nursery section because I was saying that we all know babies are more aesthetic than us now. So the nursery section had a lot of cute options too. <laughs> stack of fabric I got it was only like $16 which is absolutely crazy to me that I got all this fabric for only $16 like I'm so excited no me let's go check out no me It's a 
this. We got all of our groceries and our prescriptions. Mm. We're all set. Time to go home. I'm about to try my little Mickey Mouse nugget. Look at how cute. So cute. I'm not that hungry. That's why I'm only having one. And then I have naked. Let's try it. And I have my dipping sauce of choice this time is sweet chili. Ow. It's mm. hot. I don't want to wait for it to cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. And then I sit here and chew for like a minute so it's nice and round it up. Wow, look at that. It looks exactly like a chicken nugget. Very good. Okay, we're gonna spray paint. Oh, come on, cheese. Okay, we're gonna do the first coat. Oh, oh that looks so much like better. That. Look at that. Wow. This color is so much nicer than I expected. Cute. Okay, we're gonna keep spray painting. There she is. Now we have to let it dry. We're just gonna leave it out here for a bit, then move it to our garage. We just watched the fourth Harry Potter movie. We're making it our way through the Harry Potter movies for the first time we've ever seen them, and it was really good. But now we brought in my Abbey pole to put in the garage because we don't want to leave it out overnight. So I'm gonna go look at it for the first time since inside. <gasps> no. Yeah. Focus. She is beautiful. I can't wait to decorate it tomorrow. I'm so excited. The pictures just don't do it justice. I know, it looks so bad in pictures, even in here. I know, why does it look so bad? You, got, you gotta get up close, like she glistens. She does glisten. 10 o'clock and I've just been reading and resting because I'm tired. I had a busy two days. I did a lot yesterday and didn't get much sleep last night and did a lot today. So I'm tired and it's okay, but I'm gonna go to bed soon. But first I just had to write down a to-do list because I don't know if anyone else is like this, but sometimes I just have so many things just floating around my head that I kind of know that I have to do in the next week or the next day. And I literally can't turn off my brain. It's just like, okay, try to, to remember all the things that you have to do. And for some reason, sometimes my first instinct is not to write it down. I'm just like, I'll remember it. But it literally keeps playing over and over in my head. It gets stressful. And I'm like, you know what? You just need to write it all down. Why haven't you written it down yet? So I just wrote it down. Everything that so far that I want to do this week. I know I'll probably add more things to it as each day comes. And I have to do like more and more things. But for now, this is everything I have. Oh, I gotta add one more thing. I went, so I'm not hooked up yet. Ow. I was leaning over to write, and when I leaned over to write, this part got stuck under here, under my foot, so when I stood up, it was stuck under, and it, it pulled. It hurt so bad. Okay. I need to take Tylenol anyways, because I have a bit of granulation tissue on the side. Whenever it rubs or hits against that granulation tissue, like on the side of it hurts so bad. Oh, it's I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a stinging pain. It hurts. It's the pain isn't like internal anymore where it used to, I used to struggle a lot with like the internal pain. But now it's just this granulation tissue on the side that like makes the hole like smaller. So it like kind of suctions in the tube and it like whenever it hits that tissue, it hurts so bad. Okay, I gotta add one more thing. That's a lot of stuff to do, but I feel better now that it's written down. I think that's everything. Okay, I need to go flush my J-Port and then I'm not gonna film it this time, but I just, I'm gonna set up my feet. I feel like I've shown it a lot, so it's just a process. But tonight I had to figure out a different plan because my Ivy pole is drying. So we're just gonna kind of like put it in my backpack and then I have a nightstand. So then just put the nightstand like a little bit closer to me against the wall and just leave it up there. And that's what we'll be, what we'll be doing for tonight. I'm gonna end the vlog here for tonight and then tomorrow whenever we deck the deck whenever we decorate the pole I will just pick it back up. I will see you tomorrow when I decorate my pole. Okay it's two days later and we're gonna finish decorating my pole. Also I got my hair cut and I love it. It's so cute, it's so fresh. Let me show you. Wow look at how beautiful she is. She looks so good. So excited and we're getting out our little flowers. We got some fairy lights too. We're gonna put on some rose gold fairy lights. Adorable. Mm. 
Wow. This is like the perfect garland. So that's the cutest ivy pole I've ever seen. I'm gonna go. Oh! oh. Hey, he's wrapping it. You picked out the perfect flower garland, babe. This one really, it really does it. Yeah, you wanted another one. I know, and I admit that I am wrong because mm -hmm. light her up. Oh! Wow. It's so cute. Okay. Wow. Okay, we wanna add the accent pieces? There, that adds some like color to it. That's cute. I think that looks beautiful, babe. Okay, switching things up a little bit, we decided to put the flowers on top right here. And I think it looks super cute. And we're working on putting those ones down there. Where's the last one gonna go? Perfect. He looks beautiful, babe. Okay. There's the final review. And then I'll take another video tonight when I'm hooked up to it, like with my IV pull and pump, or I mean my bag and pump. But I also ordered something, well, in the process of ordering something on Etsy, and it's a sticker that you put on your pump. So someone custom makes them, so I messaged her, and I'm waiting to hear that. So if I get that before I make this video, what are you doing? What? <laughs> if I get that before I make this video, then I'll include that in here. See you later tonight. It's nighttime now, and I just hooked up myself to the IV pull, and <gasps> look how cute. <gasps> It's so cute. It just looks so much better in person, I feel like. Let me show you. Here it is, adorable. And then the sticker that I was talking about, it's gonna go like right here. And like I said, someone's working on designing it right now. So, oh, it's, it's so cute, I'm obsessed. I just get so happy looking at this. And you know what? I think that's pretty amazing that I get happy looking at an IV pole now. You know what? When you are dealt these cards in life, you gotta, you gotta find a way to make it fun and make it happy. And the fact that this IV pole makes me happy, it's small things in life, okay? Go out there and decorate something fun that's not supposed to be fun yay yay nutrition yay beautiful ivy pole i love it it makes me so happy beautiful Hello, it's a week later. Sorry, it might be a little bit loud. My laundry is going, but I didn't end the vlog because I was waiting to get my sticker. I was hoping I'd get it in time, but it hasn't even been created yet. So it's not gonna happen in time. So I'll just show you in another vlog whenever I get it, it's fine. So this is gonna be the end of the vlog. But before I go, I just wanted to show you a couple things. So in this video, obviously I shopped for fabric for tubi pads and let me show you. After practicing so many times, let me show you all my practice ones because they are so rough. These were all my practice ones and then I finally created one that I was happy with and it is this one. I haven't created any more because I want to test this one out before making more just make sure it's all okay. It's just I haven't been able to test it out yet because my site is kind of irritated right now so I'm just keeping gauze on it while it heals a little bit more. It was fine before and then it got a little irritated so I'm just switching to gauze for now and when it's better I will test this out and create more but I mean I think it will be okay. I also created one with a different type of fabric so I'm going to test these out too and see how they work they're not like the most professional i don't know like i don't know why they don't look as professional as this is like the one that i bought and then this one i don't know how they get it to look this nice but i think i did an okay job and then i love like the flower ones <laughs> this is my first attempt at a flower one it looks um very rough i am not keeping this one or like putting the clips on it and using it this is a work in progress a big work in progress but I don't know. People who make these, I give major props to them because I don't know how they do it. They look amazing and professional, but this is the best I can do with my supplies and sewing machines and skills, but it will work for me. And one other thing I wanted to show you before I end the vlog too. So for those with feeding tubes, you kind of had to sleep in an elevation. I guess with NJ tubes or GJ tubes, if you're being fed through your intestines, I mean, technically, I feel like it's far enough down where you don't have to worry about aspirations but one risk that you always have with NJ tubes or GJ tubes is the risk of the J tube migrating up to the stomach and if that happens during the night then you are at risk for aspiration so I just prefer to take all the precautions that I can and sleep at an elevation and I have not been able to find a good bed wedge pillow that's comfortable like my neck hurts so bad while I was trying out all these bed wedge pillows I can't talk and they're just not comfortable, not squishy. It's like sleeping on a rock and it's awful. Don't like it. But then I finally found one that I'm so happy with and it's so comfy, it's squishy, it's nice. And I just wanted to share it. I will link it down below as well. But I just want to show you all if you need elevation pillows, this is the one. This is, look at that. Do you see that impression? It's the memory phone, phone, memory phone. It's so nice. It's just this bamboo one and it's it's very nice so i just want i just want to share that but i think that is all for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you 
like my little ivy pull back there i love it it's okay if you don't but i love it and i will just show you whenever i get my sticker in one of the vlogs so thank you so much for watching for sticking around i appreciate you guys so so much and i hope you guys have a wonderful day a wonderful week a wonderful month a wonderful life and i hope to see you in my next video bye <laughs>